Hi, I'm Gary Ruggles, and I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for Synopsys PCI Express, C6, and CXL controller product lines. Since we can't meet in person, I put together this short video to tell you about some of the latest product developments we've been working on to help you achieve your design goals. So let's get right to it. We just passed a new milestone of over 90 PCI Express 5.0 licenses, and we're moving really fast towards 100. With over 20 unique logos and multiple customer tape valves, some in silicon and now even in production. And we're continuing to expand the availability of our PCI Express 5.0 solution by porting our proven 32 gig Phi into multiple foundry processes. It's now available in eight different process nodes from 16 nanometer to 5 nanometer, and we've got five more nodes already in development. We recently completed characterization of our latest reduced power, reduced latency 32 gig Phi in TSMC 7 nanometers, and we're meeting all of the PCI Express 5.0 specs over process, temperature, and voltage corners. Now, coupling this with our low latency PCIe and CXL controllers can give you an optimal solution for high performance computing or AI applications, including those that require cache coherency. We've also enhanced our pipe support for our PCIe 5s and controllers, supporting pipe 5.1.1 and pipe 5.2, with both support for classic pipe mode that you're used to, as well as the series architecture mode which is new and it's critical for CXL to get that really low latency that you expect. Now, speaking of CXL, our CXL solution is already seeing rapid market adoption with more than a dozen licenses already, and we've successfully delivered a variety of different CXL configurations to our customers. And in Q3, we're adding support for CXL 2.0, the latest version of the standard. And we've recognized the importance of emerging hardware security standards. And we're now offering support for hardware security for both our PCIe and CXL cores, including AES GCM encryption engines. And we're taking our automotive support up a notch with our new HLB certified controllers for all of our PCI Express controllers, including Gen 5. In fact, we just had a recent design win at a cloud computing provider who realized they could utilize our PCIe 5 automotive controllers to get increased reliability for their next generation of advanced servers. How about interoperability and testability? That's really critical for a new standard like PCI Express 5. Well, we've demonstrated interoperability between our PCIe 5 solution and Intel's Ivy Creek 5 test platform, both with and without industry's first PCIe 5.0 retimer chip provided by our customers, Astera Labs. And in case you've missed it, we've showcased our PCI Express 5.0 performance with new testers from Enritsu, Keysight, Teledyne LaCroix, and Tektronix. And we've demonstrated great performance over real-world PCIe 5 channels and hardware, including new PCIe 5 connectors from Amphenol and Zamtech, with total channel losses sometimes in excess of 36 dB. And while there's no official PCIe SIG compliance workshops for PCIe 5 yet, we've taken our 4.0 and 5.0 hardware to the PCI SIG 4.0 workshops, and we've now got 18 entries on the 4.0 integrators list. So you can have confidence that your products will work seamlessly with others in the field. And we're really focused on differentiation. So to help customers who are implementing a lot of PCI Express 5 lanes in their SOC, in some cases over 100, and achieve max maximum area efficiency, we're now providing a full 16 lane 32 gig Phi macro that can replace four individual macros. And that gets rid of duplicate PLLs, makes the overall area efficiency better for these cases. We've also introduced embedded DMA support for a PCI Express controller that's improved, and we call this new DMA Hyper DMA. It expands the number of read and write channels from eight each to 64 each, and we add a descriptor prefetch capability, making smaller transfers extremely efficient. We're also rolling out advanced AMBA support for our ARM-based server customers. This includes features like AMBA Atomics, a dedicated LTI and MSI GIC interface for better performance, and we're adding ECAM support as well for SPSA 6.0. And we're also supporting additional PCI Express ECNs that our customers want, like downstream port containment, enhanced downstream port containment, power break, and deferrable rights, to name a few. Our third two gig FIs offer continuous calibration and adaptation in real time. This gives you robust performance that can compensate for temperature and voltage variations in real time. This and other advanced algorithms are implemented in firmware this gives you the ability to easily benefit from future enhancements. Now, the tunability of our 5.0 solution allows you to tailor your SOC to meet specific low power 
or performance profiles, making it ideal for both long and short channel applications. And we continue to work really closely with our customers to achieve successful one gigahertz timing closure. We've done this now in multiple process technologies with a variety of challenging configurations, and we've made additional improvements in our design to make one gig timing closure even easier. And of course, we're well underway with our PCI Express 6.0 design. Stay tuned to find out more about our PCIe 6 solution in a future update. In closing, at Synopsys, we recognize these are challenging times for everyone, and we know your design requirements and schedules are just as aggressive as they've always been. Our IP experts are continuing to develop IP with optimized features you need and are ready to deliver innovative products to you. And we're here to help. If you have questions about anything you've seen on this video, or if you just want to get some additional information about our products, please email us at designware at synopsis.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.